In this video, we'll talk about how a routing protocol works. In this video, we will talk about the following topics. First of all, we will list the requirement for IP packets going across subnets. Then we will look into how routers learn routes. Next, let's find out what routing protocol is. After that, we will analyze the basic steps for learning routes. Finally, we will sum up our video with the keynotes. Let's get started with how IP packets go across subnets by looking into this network configuration. Do you think if PC1 can send IP packets to PC2? The answer is no, because both PCs need to know the default gateway information. When an IP packet gets sent across subnet, the network layer of each host must be able to determine if the destination belongs to the local subnet. If the destination is on a remote subnet, it forwards the packet to the default gateway. When the packet arrives at the router, the router must know about the route to the remote network to forward the packet. Next, let's discuss how router learn routes. With IP routing enable, router automatically learns the routes for the local subnets connected to its interfaces. Here are the routing table of router 1 and router 2 after learning the local routes. Let's continue with static routes. For routers to know about the routes of each other, all the required routes can be configured by a network engineer on every routers. Here how you configure static route on router 1 and on router 2. You can figure out this method is not practical in a big network. A better way is that a router can also learn the routes from other routers if they are configured with the same routing protocol. Router 1 advertise all the routes it know to Router 2. Router 2 advertise all the routes it know to Router 1. Before going into the basic steps for a routing protocol learns routes, let me share with you my conversation with a Cisco technical support about the performance issue happened to our network. I called in and reported. We are experiencing network performance at a certain time of a day. The technical support asked me, are you using any IP routing protocol in your network? Honestly speaking, I didn't understand. I stopped for a moment and asking myself what he meant. He wanted to know if we are using IP protocol or not. I then responded, IP version 4. He then asked me, are you the network person there? I got upset, he's so mean. And then I responded, yes, I am the network person here. He said, huh? I handed the phone to my manager for him to continue the conversation. Not long after that, I was able to find out routing protocols are kind of languages that we configure on routers. So the router configured with the same routing protocol can learn and exchange routes beyond the network design. Let's now find out the basic steps for a routing protocol learning routes. First of all, each router has 
around to its routing table for each subnet directly connected to the router. Here are the routing tables of router 1 and router 2 after learning the routes for the directly connected subnets. Next, each router's routing protocol tells its neighbors about the routes in its routing table, including the directly connected routes and the routes learned from other routers. This information is stored in the routing protocol database. Routing protocol will compare its routing protocol database and the routing table to see if there is a match. Routing protocol considers the routes in its database as the best routes if they do not exist or have lower costs than the ones in the routing table. In this case, the route highlighted are not the best route because these routes have higher costs. After learning a new route from a neighbor and determining it is the best route, the router's routing protocol promotes the route to its IP routing table with the next hop router of the route typically being the neighbor from which the route was learned. Here are the routing table of router 1 and router 2 after the routing protocol promoted the best route to the routing tables. Let's sum up our video with the keynotes. To send IP packets across subnets, hosts need to know default gateway IP address and routers need to know routes to all subnets. Router automatically learns route to the local subnets connected to its interfaces. For remote subnets, routers can either learn the routes from a routing protocol or get the routes entered directly by a network engineer. Here are the basic steps for a routing protocol learning routes. Each router adds a route to its routing table for each subnet directly connected to the router. Each router's routing protocol advertises to its neighbors about the routes in its routing table including the directly connected routes and the routes learned from other routers. After learning a new route from a neighbor and determining it is the best route, the router's routing protocol promotes the route to its IP routing table with the next hop router of that route typically being the neighbor from which the route was learned. This is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching.